Hey everybody, it's Oma, he, him. It's been a week, hasn't it? Well, it better have, or else I've fucked up the fucking thing for this, the upload. Oh no, I said fuck in like the first 10 seconds of video, our monetization. JK, we don't have monetization. Uh, so, good lord, that was loud. Why is it so goddamn loud? Oh my god. What the fuck? It's never just normal. It's always something, isn't it? If it was normal, it wouldn't be in my idiot gremlin corner. Stupid gremlin corner? They're kind of the same words, right? Oh, lorm. Anyways, this is... Uh, we're kind of... We're kind of fans of the Prince of Persia series. We like... The older games are neat, the newer games also pretty neat. We are, unfortunately, quite a fan of this series, and there's one game we have never played in any capacity, and it is the infamous Prince of Persia 3D, or as the streamcast version is called, Prince of Persia Arabian Nights. That woman was trying to dance sexy, and it was not sexy at all. Yeah, love those flat polygons while I balance the sword on my head. Excuse me, Sultan. The princess was expecting me. And I expect you to remain seated. Would you insult my brother? Refuse his hospitality? Oh, you can't insult his brother and refuse his hospitality, Prince. That'd be awful. Let me play with my sack. <laughs> Let me play with my sack while I think about women. Great, great innuendo, Prince, thanks. Oh, that's kind of funky, that face. Got that boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, the woman with the sword stabbed you. Who could have seen that coming? She's stabbing everybody here. Oh, they got the Prince. <laughs> Arabian Nights, Prince of Persia. So yeah, this is the Dreamcast port of Prince of Persia 3D. And for some reason it's called Prince of Persia Arabian Nights. Or as it's... Or backwards as it's shown here. Because who gives a fuck, I guess. Can I, uh... Turn everything down? Christ, it is loud. I've turned my own stuff down, and it's still too loud for me. What if, if I turn it too much down? It's gonna be, like, unlistenable in the other way, because you'll be like, what? Huh? Plus. This is... You put jump on Y? Can I put that? Okay, I can't put jump on A, thank God. Tack? Four, four buttons for... Oh, God, this already looks bad. <laughs> Is this four buttons for attacking? Oh, no. Okay, well, sure. Let's let's start playing the game. <laughs> uh, I selected new game, and you tossed me back to the menu. No, that was the loading screen. Okay, your loading screen looks like the press start screen. <laughs> So yeah, this game, uh, like many 2D series, Prince of Persia apparently had a pretty rough-ass transition into 3D before making one of our favorite games of all time, which is, uh, Sands of Time. So all, off the bat, this thing has tank controls. <laughs> okay, how do I... No, no, stand back up. How do I do something with this block? Oh, I have a turn at 180 degrees button, like this is a Resi Evil game. Uh, I can tell there's a block here, you realize. Oh, I can do... Oh, I can walk. This is just like Lara Croft. Wow. Uh, yeah, how do I... I can tell that's there. Why do I do something with it, though? Hello? <laughs> uh, inventory... Oh, I have a hint button? Inventory. What did that hint say? First a swordsman, then a box. Crush them both. The stone face unlocks. 
Well, that's fascinating. I can't look at my controls again. Oh, okay. Why push the block? Okay. Now we're going somewhere. What's up here? Do I want to push this block now? This is, if it's a Tomb Raider-like, you gotta have, like, a certain qu quota of block-pushing puzzles. That is, like, the main feature of a Tomb Raider-like. Oh, can I get that torch? Can I get the torch, maybe? No? Can I move a block? I'm still not sure how I move this block. Let's, uh, let's play with this block so I can get a feel for how you move this stuff. Oh, this... There's a door open over there. Okay, well, that's cool. I still want to... Okay, so you push into it and then start holding Y. Got it. Okay. Uh, I need a sword. Oh, I am trapped in here now. Oh, this guy's alive? I thought you would like a skeleton. Well, I don't want to mess with no, like, skeleton man, not skeleton. Hello. If I try to push against the thing and jump, it does not jump. This thing controls like, uh... Oh, back up a step. Oh, back up a step. This thing can, uh, immediately controls like shitty Tomb Raider. Like, people make fun of uh, the way Tomb Raider controls, but Tomb Raider controls like that for a reason, which is that the whole game is kind of built around this, like, grid system, you know? Stop crawling. Like, it all, always feels grid-based, and immediately this does not feel grid-based. <laughs> Which is a problem if you're doing this kind of tank control. Okay, okay. It's like Tomb Raider. You gotta jump, and then you gotta hold Y to grab. Got it. So anything up over there? Maybe. This might not be the most uh, stupid gremlin-y of games out the bat, but, you know. Mm, gotta get somewhere first. So I can go up here? I can go up here, it looks like. If I can get... Oh, went too far now. <laughs> okay. I have climbed out. We're going somewhere. We're moving, you guys. Everything's happening. Oh, you're attached to a block? Can I, like push this block for you. I was hoping I could maybe just push that block and you would be free. Does not seem Leave to be. Me be. I am too weak to escape. You need to find a sword if you wish to survive. Yeah, I do need to find a sword. Thank you. I can't wait to see what combat is like in this game given the uh, 12 attack buttons. So that's a switch. Okay. Now this room is filling with water is great for me because I love dying in water. Oh. Okay. This was timed. There was no real indication of that. I can see. Uh, well, I've already fucked that up. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Prince. Gotta get through. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a save point. Well, let us save. Let us absolutely save. <laughs> I've played like five seconds of this game. I'll save. Oh boy. Oh boy. The other thing Tomb Raider did that I uh, want to note out the bat this game is not doing is uh, Tomb Raider had like tutorials. Uh, how do I get out of the water? Leave, leave water. Exit water. <laughs> okay. I think that potion at the bottom that added is meant to be my oxygen meter. Okay. I couldn't leave the water earlier, but I could right there. Sure. Why not? <laughs> How? I, why, why wouldn't that happen? Why wouldn't things just work out that way? Oh, is this bridge going to collapse when I go across? Yes, it is. Aha, I made it, though. I did not fall for your bridge trap, Prince of Persia. Oh boy, this, this is bad. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not like bad, bad, but you immediately start playing it. It's like, oh yeah, I see why. I see how this killed your franchise for a bit. 
I see how you were like, oh, we gotta, we gotta sell to Ubisoft to reinvent ourselves. Because <laughs> I look at this, I'm just, just like, oh, oh, I see. What is down there? Uh, spikes! And a oh, jump I do not believe I can make. Let me... I want to, like, test. I want to test my jump. So, like, again, one of the things... I think maybe I can make that. If or not, uh, we had a save point not too long ago. Okay, I made it. One of the other things Tomb Raider does with its tutorial is it very quickly teaches you, like, exactly how Laura moves. Which is how you're going to play, like, the rest of the game, you know? And having just no tutorial here, it's... You start it, it's like, okay, so how does the prince move? How, how much, when I do a running jump, how much does he jump? It's like, there's just no answer. That's, I'm not standing there. Do I look like a fucking dummy to you? It's stained with blood. And it has spikes poking out. Like, if it was just one or the other, yeah, maybe. Maybe you'd get me, you know? And not with both. Not with both, my dude. I ain't no dummy. Okay, where am I going now? What am I looking for? Well, I'm still looking for a sword. I hear a man with a sword. Oh, uh, that's bad. Because I do not have a sword right now. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I do not want to fight you. I do not want to fight you. Run around him! Okay, I got stuck on him. Okay. Ah! Ah! No! I need to tank control. Run away from you! No! Stop it! Stop it! Well... I died. <laughs> cool. Great. And now there's just nothing to do but load from... You have to load from the menu. Can't even... Can't even, like, look at the dude. Oh, it will just kick you out to the main menu after a minute. Great. Okay, dokey, man. There's, like, a cave this way. We didn't go this way at all. What do you think's over here? I'll find out. Why don't I find out for us? <laughs> you just kind of... You just swimming at the top. You just kind of glide. There's nothing over here. There is fucking nothing. It's just the cave of shame. If you end up here, you have been shamed. 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 Okay, go home now. Oh, and uh... Sure would be wacky if there was like an extra extra save point here, right? Whoa, what's this? Whoa, whoa, what was that? Well, that's the secret Dreamcast menu that lets you add special save points for when there is a sword man about to come around the corner and kill you. Like if he gets you, ooh, what is, what is this? What is this? <laughs> But yeah, if he gets you in a corner, uh, you're pretty fucked. You have no options at that point. Okay, hit that floor switch. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh, you didn't mind me. You're not minding me a little too hard. You really want to go back in here. Okay, so as long as he's pushing against me, I can't push back against him. <laughs> So he can just get you in a corner if he wants. Okay, I hit that floor switch. Is that floor switch still depressed? Is that floor switch still sad? Oh, is the floor switch a little sad? Uh, I don't know what that opened. Oh, this is open now. I jump over those spikes. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Now we're, now we're moving, right? Okay. Okay. We can go somewhere. Uh, just, just, yeah. Get on up there, Prince. Like, the idea of turning Prince of Persia into... Oh, I hit a safe point. I didn't even see it. <laughs> the idea of turning Prince of Persia into a, uh, Tomb Raider, like, I think that makes sense, given how the first game's played. Why did you squish it like that? <laughs> Why did you squish it? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, there was a... 
Ding ding. There's a ding ding arrow firer. You put a you put your first health potion right in front of a trap. You dicks. You dick holes. <laughs> that's so dickish. Yeah, so let's uh, get that health back. Great, I got a health potion to restore the health that I lost. Getting the health potion. It's... Whoa. Fat man. Uh, please do not fight me. I cannot fight fat man. Okay. Is that it? You just shocked to see me? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 Okay. Let's not talk to any more fat men. <laughs> it, it seems like a bad idea. So I guess I'm looking for something so that I can put in the mouth jewel. Something down there? Can I, like, crawl down here? No? Looks like a well. Can I jump? Cannot make an exact jump onto there, can I? Oh, I can. It does nothing. Okay. I don't know the purpose of this room, clearly. There's a lot of rooms here that I don't think... Uh, don't mind me just taking a look around. There's a lot of rooms here I don't think need to exist. <laughs> I've seen a lot of rooms where I'm like, Wow, what's the point of this room? And I enter it, and I go, Wow, there's no point to this room. You just put it here like there's just so much there's no there's so much without like any sort of goodies to find is the real confusing part here it's like there's just things oh I can push this maybe this also needs a switch to open I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> I have no idea where this is taking me. Okay, yeah, let's let's use the switch. Am I even gonna get a sword in the time before I decide I'm done playing this game? I don't think I am. Come on, you can make that jump. Don't tell me you can't make that jump. Look at that. Look at that, his hands are touching the top of the ledge. His hands are definitely 100% touching the top of the ledge there. Okay, well that closed, so I'm now stuck in this room. This music kind of kicks ass, though. What's up with the music? I'm getting some, like, Donkey Kong Country vibes off of this. Did you get David Wise in here to do your music for you? <laughs> Prince of Persia, with music by David Wise. Hup, and I jump over here. And... Yep! Ooh, I see something shiny over here. Could this be... No, that's a person. I was gonna say, could this be our sword, but that is a person. Oh, this is the butch... No. Huh? This, this game is already sprawling so much, and I don't... Feel like I'm what I tried to jump over the trap and it just hit me like way before I touched the trap so all that sprawling exploration that I did has been for nothing because I am back here now cool I skip this animation no cool Cool, 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 cool game. Oh, what's this? I didn't see this last time. What's this? I love the thing squeezing down. Uh, yep. It's a chest. Yep. Okay. I'll just take that chest. Why not? Put our hand in. This guy just insta kill us. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I can't even start menu on this. <laughs> Great. It just kicks me back to the main menu again. Christ in a bucket. <laughs> I'm 
Fuck this game, man. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, I hate to be actually analytical on our st stupid gremlin corner, but, uh, let's do it. Uh, the way Prince of Persia, I think the older games work that feels acceptable is that while it will just kill you in a trap or whatever, um, you know, you just start back on the... That's gonna shoot. I remember this one. Okay. I, oh, I did pick it up. Okay. Uh, I think the way the original games work that works well is that if you die, you just start right back where you were. And the Sands of Time trilogy kind of translated this into the rewind mechanic. So if you die to a trap, you don't go, oh man, I was so, so far into this area. You just rewind. And if you run out of rewinds, it's like, ah, dang. But... You know, you still broadly get to feel like uh, progress is being made. If, trap, if you're going to line your game with traps, death can't be too punishing. And death being you have to go back to the safe, to the, your last safe void here is too punishing. Now, are there exceptions to that? Well, arguably, because like Dark Souls. Ooh, there's another potion here. Okay, okay. I expected the box to come back down on my head and conk me out. <laughs> um, I think if, you know, like, Dark Souls gets away with making its traps really punishing by the fact that, like, it's a game where you're expected to be careful all the time. I can't really be too careful here, because this just isn't the type of game like what Dark Souls is. <laughs> I was going to edit, but I've actually talked the day away, haven't I? Well, that's quite convenient. Now I don't even have to edit. So what is... What is under this, then? There's something under a box here, too? Can you... Can you use this? Vince, can you use this? The other thing that Dark Souls has on this game is that Dark Souls doesn't suck. Dark Souls is a game where death comes easy, but it's not a bad game, you know, like... Like, if we die and, like, oh, you just have nothing you can pick up. Oh, that's why you wouldn't do nothing. Okay, well, fair. Fair enough. Like, if you... Oh, you can just climb up on boxes? Wow. I wonder if we should have read the manual to this game. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're in the PlayStation... If you're in the PlayStation... Well... Shit, you weren't even in PlayStation era at this point. You were in, like, PS2 era by the time the Dreamcast came out. You were in PS2 era. You shouldn't need to look at the manual to learn how to play the fuzzing game. Am I right, fellas? Yeah, you know I'm right. Anyways, uh... Yeah, Dark Souls doesn't suck. Like, it's hard. You know, when we played Sekiro, it's like, oh, this game's pretty hard, but... Okay, so that's how you get past this, is you just crawl like a little baby playing Mario 64. <laughs> I love the baby, the crawl of safety of Mario 64. What is strong box? Okay. Uh, let's use one of our health potions. Um, kind of wanna, kind of wanna, sort of wanna, uh, do one of those numbers where I... Throw down a secret little save state. <laughs> um, yeah, like, death comes easy in Dark Souls games, but it's never like, oh man, I died. Fuck me. I have to go through all that. There's nothing happening here is the problem. There's nothing, there's no challenges on the way. It's just, if a trap gets you, it's just like, oh, you got got by the trap. What are you going to do now, dummy? It's like, well, I guess I will replay the fucking game, won't I? Anyways, this is gonna be good. Gonna, gonna fucking drop an anvil on this dude. <laughs> like we're in goddamn Looney Tunes. I have to get this box precisely up with the markings on the wall, though. For this bitch you made. 
<laughs> Looks good, feels good. Looks good, feels good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we have a sword now, right? I do believe that's a sword. So let's practice with this a little. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So that's our... Then we hold that. No, we don't hold that. Okay. I'm gonna put down another wacky little save state here. <laughs> By the way, uh, we did check. We did check. We did not... Oh, that won't just take me back up that way. I don't want to go that way. Uh, we did check on both um, Steam and GOG, because we were like, can you buy, can you pay money for Prince of Persia 3D? And the answer is no. Now, obviously, there's probably, like, third-party sellers. So you can pay money for Prince of Persia 3D if you so wish, but not easily. I believe it might be in part because, uh, oops, oops, oops. I believe it might be in part because the game was published by Mattel. Uh, combat, combat sucks. <laughs> oh my god. I, I get what we're going for here, but oh my god, I can't, I can't tell what's going on. Okay. Here's the next, uh, here's the next however many minutes of game. <laughs> and keep in mind, if you did not have, if you were not playing with save states, if you were playing on an old console, every time we were going to be going back to that old spot where there's just fucking, there's just like nothing along the way to this. Like, there's no challenges. It's just, oh, you could you jump across this platform? So I think I actually do want the camera to be like this. I kept it just yet to be behind the prince, but now I see why they made it like this. So it's it's not like you it's not like you actually look at what direction he's blocking and then pick a direction that isn't that. You just kind of have to hit attack buttons and pray he doesn't block that way. I see. Interesting. Interesting design decisions here in Prince of Persia 3D Arabian Nights to the edge. Uh, Skimitar. Okay. To the edge. What else? What? All oh, right. Uh, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Return of Jafar. Um, Ali Baba. Aladdin. Scooby Doobert and the Snoobert Tubert 2. That's what this game is. <laughs> that's that's the name of this game. In full. No, I don't want you to go up there. I want you to go up over here. Please. God. Fuck me. This game would actually play a little better if you were playing on the D-pad. Should I kill this guy? I don't know. Maybe. Let's find out. So you have made it out of your cell. You won't get far without a sword. I cannot kill this guy. That sucks. I can't even kill random NPCs. Why am I even playing this game, dude? What is even the fucking point of this game? <laughs> I love the guys like, you won't get far without a sword. And meanwhile, I'm like, hacking your head off, hacking your head off, hacking your head off. Oh, this guy's going to be a pain. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm abusing save states. I don't give a single shit. It's my idiot gremlin corner. What? You need to be closer to me before you attack. So why, why even make, like, all the buttons do different directions if it's just pure random. <laughs> what were we thinking? What were we thinking with this combat? I don't think we were, is the truth. I don't think anybody really thought during the production of this game. <laughs> 
think there was kind of a vague idea of... Did I even need to kill that guy? Killing that guy seems to have done shit fuck for me because he didn't drop anything. Kill, what? Why did I kill him? Because I'm just a crazy, wacky murderer. So now can I go through this door? What was the hint? What was that hint again? First a swordsman, then I box. Crush them both, the stone face unlocks. Oh, I need to... I need to crush the long, the strong box we got? Is that what I need to do? Huh? Huh? What? Uh, I've got an idea. It's not a very good idea, but this isn't a very good game, so it's the kind of thing that might work. There was like, yeah, so over here, when I go down here, there's like a platform, right? Yeah. So what if I put the box on the platform? No, we've just universally decided that's not correct. Okay. Um, I'd love to say I had a second idea. Can I destroy these boxes? No. Okay. <laughs> I would sure love to say I had a second idea. What did the... What was that? The Prince of Persia shuffle? <laughs> First you slide to the left. Then you slide to the right. Everybody, we're doing the Prince of Persia shuffle. You go, yeah, yeah, yay. I got a sword, I'm dead today. Yeah, we're doing the Prince of Persia shuffle. Okay, so my second idea is maybe I drop the box. All right, what I was, I was also thinking there's this platform, right? So what if we put the strong box here? No, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. Okay. Do I have a third idea? Uh, yeah. Did you drop anything fun and wacky? I'm just kind of mashing Y over your bod your dead body. Oh, let me uh, let me just teabag you real quick. Yeah, yeah. Get a nice smell of those balls. Look at the way his head goes right into the prince's sweaty ball sack. Ah, oh, you know, he loves that scent. He's like, ah, the smell of sweaty balls. The Prince of Persia sweaty ball sack. Okay, uh, so I don't have a fourth idea. I barely had a third idea. Can I unwinch this again? I couldn't do anything with the other winch either. Wait, maybe I should do... Can I do something with the other witch? I'm grasping at straws here, man. I don't I don't know what the hell this game wants of me. But I never did anything with the other winch. We can we can agree on that point. Is the other winch was just like unusable. So what if? What if I put the strong box below the other winch? You see, I'm thinking because it says like crush the box in the hint. So maybe it's something about like, you know, I've got a, like right here. No? No? We don't like that? I gotta look at the hint again. <laughs> First a swordsman, then a box, crush them both, the stone face unlocks. So I've crushed a swordsman. I need to crush a box. And when I try to use this winch, the game says, fuck no, this winch don't do nothing, even though the last one did something. Like, why would, why would that winch do something? I mean, duh. Okay, wait. Let's go with our uh, 68th idea. Ooh, one more idea. And, <laughs> well, you know, you know the, uh, the funny sex number. 
You know, the funny sex number, right, kiddos? Okay, saying kiddos at the end made that weird. I, I apologize profusely. I do a lot of... I know I do my edgy... Edgy dumb boy humor here, but that was that was too far. I'm very sorry about that one. Oopsie doopsie. Okay. What is this thing? Is this one a box? No. Wait. This is the exact same thing I could move earlier. Yes. Yes. Oh, I can move this. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's there's just a potion underneath. I was kind of hoping for progress, I'm not going to lie. Can I move this more? Nope, that's exactly as far as it will move. Okay, well, I'll use that potion. I will take that, but uh, not what I wanted. Okay, what if I go over here and give you the box, and then you can destroy it in your little wacky furnace? No, don't like that. I don't like that either. Okay, I've got something funny I gotta try, so... What if I crawl into your furnace? Oh, that kills you fast! Oh, that kills you fast! I mean, that one's deserved. I'll give it to that one. Like, I would expect nothing less. So what if I directly... Directly talk to you. And hand you the strong box. Nobody wants this fucking strong box. Okay. Idea 186. Um, what if I put the box in? What if the game just crashes? What if the game just crashes? That would actually be pretty great. Then I could just go, well, I don't know, it crashed, so you're done playing. So what if I put the box? You want you want box? You want strong box? No. I'm not putting my I'm not putting my hand back in there. Uh what if I go this way? I've never gone this way. But that's mostly because uh this thing wants to kill me badly. Um, sure looks like there might be something in there, but, okay. <laughs> oh, I love this camera angle. This is great. The great stuff, guys. This game looks ready to ship. I have a few things you might want to change first, though. Uh, for starters, everything. Okay. So what if I, uh, whoops. What if I give you a whack on the face? So I've killed all the enemies in this area. I assume, I assume quite rightly, if I attempt to put my hand back in this mouth, you're just gonna kill me. Yes. Well. Guys, <laughs> I guess I'm looking up a walkthrough, because I'm sure out of ideas. The Sleeping Tattooed Guard. The Sleeping... Is that the Fat Man? Also, this game is talking about, like... It, this guide is talking about in-game voice acting that this has definitely not happened. Oh, there's a switch on the wall? God damn it. I did not see that switch this whole time. Motherfucker. It just blended right into the wall. I'm angry. I'm angry about that one. Oh, I am angry. That doesn't feel... That doesn't feel like a fun, like... Oh, it turns out you had to do X, Y, Z. Where it's like, oh, I had to do X, Y, Z, or, ah, oh, dang it, I missed this switch the whole time. That just feels like, oh, we put, we put a gray switch on a gray wall. You didn't see it? Haha, <laughs> dummy. You idiot. Oh. Bet this is how I crushed my box. Nope. Not allowed to use that. Uh, I bet this is how I crushed my box. 
Well, it's gotta be something in this goddamn room. You can't tell me it's some it's not something in this room. After after you made me get to this goddamn room. You can't then look at me and say, well, nothing here's the solution. Okay, so I just select that and he just puts it there. Then I can just use this. You know, it's a bad sign when you have to put a hint in your game, just here's how you get out of the area, like. Can I, can I use this? Princey Poo, can we use this, Princey Poo? Princey Poo. Princey Poo, can I use? Can I, can I use this? Oh, there's a switch on the wall. Again, these switches just blend into the goddamn wall. Okay. Thank God. What is this? What is this crap? What have I gotten? Oh, it's the guard bracelet, and now I can put my hand in the mouth, and it won't recognize me. And also, we put this outside, just in case you finally... He can't crawl up the stairs! I'm losing it! I'm losing it, Princey Poo! Uh... I don't think I'm gonna play more than, uh... <laughs> I don't think I've got to play more than a level of this game. I mean, I've... Prince. Prince. Let go. Let go. Oh my god. Just do the damn thing. There we go. Now can we please move on? Oh, this game isn't very good. I didn't even hit the save point yet. And you're just like, here's the save point. They're close. Here's it. Here it is. Close enough. Here. Safe, safe, get out of here. <laughs> I guess I'll look at more of this level since we wasted so much time uh, fucking around. Oh, you have four health. It sounds like we might have missed some health bottles, by the way, but, you know, I'm fine with that. If it's not going to put stuff like the way I can easily find it, that's the game's fault. Damn it, damn it, no, no, block, block. Uh, yeah, this game, this game's bad. <laughs> I mean, again, there's a reason that it's on my idiot game hole, but. Oh! Traitor, I will have you. My dear brother, your tongue betrays a forgetful mind. We have a pact. Is today not your daughter's 21st birthday? I can barely hear you, dude. Son. My son is not the problem. Your word is the problem. <laughs> Just let me break this bottle. At your mind, your daughter, as you promised, shall marry my son, Ragnar. Ragnar. Have you forgotten that I am still the Sultan? Of course not. But with your entire bodyguard, will you? It would be most advantageous for you to honor. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Hoagy bogey. Well, that's that's Prince of Persia 3D. Should I keep playing Prince of Persia 3D? Part of me is like, wow, that'd be pretty funny if I kept playing Prince of Persia 3D. But a part of me is like, uh, this game sucks dick. <laughs> Uh, it's extremely empty. Combat is bad. It's hard to see switches against walls, which is a problem. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. What the hell is happening? Why are you matrix dancing around arrows? <laughs> okay, that's done with, done with that. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty sad little Tomb Raider ripoff. And I think we are done with it. As much as entertaining as this level looks like it's gonna be. Um, I have to swim. I have to swim. Uh, swimming, swimming in this game does not work, which is a major problem when you want the player to swim. I can barely. I can. 
kind of figure out what it wants me to do. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think this game really rips off Tomb Raider while not capturing its atmosphere, and also combat uh, sucks a lot. And the just lack of save points everywhere also sucks a lot. It all just sucks. This game just sucks. <laughs> Like, there's so many empty areas like this. It's just... This game feels, like, unfinished. It feels like there was meant to be, like, a second version where they put things in more places. But we haven't gotten that version yet, so this is what they put out. And, yeah, you can see why nobody really sells this anymore. <laughs> I lost my sword for a second. You can't see the sword in the sheath at all. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, that's enough for this gremlin corner. Uh, I'll have another gremlin corner one of these days, I'm sure. I've got something something that might be fun to put on, but... We'll see. What, we'll, see we'll, we'll always see. And you, all, you can always see me occasionally in LP videos. So, yeah. Bye, everybody. Later. Goodbye. Etc.